Welcome back you guys, it is Snaps here, and I am very happy for everyone in a recent day or two, because 16 subs as of time of recording this, and 67 views. We could have got 69, but someone's lazy, but you know how it goes. Um, I have one thing of a, not really advice, but one thing that I just need to mention. Um, why is X1 and Nev so good? I mean, XY himself, you, you know the guy, he's basically black black-bearded Santa Claus. He's fat, he's chubby, he has a giant staff, he's close enough to Santa. And Nev over here, just the skip every day of gym guy. You know how it goes. Why are they so good? I'm like, I know they were made to counter Xeno, but you don't need to just shove them in our face like that to completely dick us. Did they even realize that? No, you're gonna mention, we're releasing a 15% cab skin as well for attack. Like, not only are we just gonna fuck every infantry lobby, and not a lobby, but fuck every single infantry march, now we're gonna do it with style. But, besides for that, um, KVK1, this is gonna be stuff about KVK1, stuff that you should prepare for, have set up, etc. You know how it goes. We're just basically going to be talking about things that you should be working on, the general player. We're just going to focus free-to-play for right now because free-to-play is the biggest majority of the player base. So, for starters, start in civilization. China. China, all the way, 110%. Get that building speed, you get that buff, you get all the extra fun stuff that comes with China. Let me click on it real quick and figure it out. So yeah, you get action point recovery, 5%, build and speed, 5%, overall defense, 3 It is a very solid early game thing. You even get Sun Tzu, one of the two commanders we're going to be mentioning, to prioritize. So, sticking with Sun Tzu, we're going to be looking at his skills and what makes him so usable. First one is going to be his first skill. So without an expertise... His first skill does 450 damage at level 5 and affects 3 targets in a fan. That is extremely good because it also gives you rage in the description, which is the first skill that we really want. His second skill relates to being a garrison, so we don't really care for it too much. The third skill is 20% of stats, technically, 10% of infantry health, and we're reducing all damage by 10%. That is, again, amazing. His fourth skill, skill damage bonus. We're going to be doing 20% of extra skill damage per red number, which is amazing. Especially if you're running all tier 4, which we'll get into later. And if you even manage to expertise him, that first skill we mentioned now jumps up to 800 damage and affects 5 targets. Every single time you hit a target in that fan, you gain 50% rage. Not 50%, you gain an extra additional 50 rage out of the 1,000 needed, which is, again, very nice. And who should you pair him with? Bjorn Ironside. His first skill, without expertise, his first skill does 500 direct damage at level 5, which is... It is pretty, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just there. But what makes him so usable and needed is his first skill also does 15% increased skill damage <clears throat> taken for anyone he hits. So for the two enemies in his fan, they're going to be taking 15% skill damage increase, which is a res those red numbers, which is going to be really good for when you have Sun Tzu hidden from the back. We don't really care for his second skill. We're just going to ignore it. His third skill, we, w we got attack bonus and defense bonus. So we get 10% attack bonus from Bjorn, 10% defense also from Bjorn, and 10% health from Sun Tzu. That is 30% of stats all within two commanders which is um, just really nice. His fourth skill, we don't really care too much about his fourth skill because it only gives 10% chance, but that 10% chance you can do direct damage of 800 at level 5, which is 
it's there, but at the same time, it is not perfect, but it is, for an epic, some pretty good skill damage. For his expertise, that first skill will be increased up to 700 damage, with still only two nearby enemies to worry about that you need to hit for that full effect of the sweep. <coughs> and with those two, you should be focusing on them. Of course, those should just be the ones you would focus on for attacking. When you go to gathering, you want to work your way all the way down from green to blue and work your way up. First off, being Centuron, he has a green gatherer, get him to level 37, and level 37 will get you all the way up the gathering tree to superior tools, which is amazing, what is what we want. If you get him to level 40, you get his modified axe. That is going to be for all the gatherers. Prioritization should be Centuron, Constance, due to her fourth skill of 10% resource bonus. Then, Sakura, Sakura, I'm not quite too sure to pronounce her. Same thing with the other one, blue commander, Gaius, or Gaius, however you say that, I really don't know. I'm just going to wing it. Matilda, G Joan of Arc, and ignore the legendary gatherers because they just don't mean anything right now. That's really, that's how it goes. And you just, your goal is to push to City Hall level 21 for tier 4. City Hall level 24 for 22, which is 5 troops you can dispatch. 5 separate marches. Which is the max and is the best. You want your 5 marches. Those are going to be very nice to have. And to top it all off, I have a restart project. I'll be showing screenshots of what it looks like. And the restart project is more so just a guide. Nothing's perfect. And lastly, about the free-to-play side, there will be a wheel commander about 80 to 90 days in. His name is going to be YSG. Focus him. Expertise him. He is your go-to. He is amazing. He is, what I like to say, YSG, you see God. Because he will be used throughout your entire game. I don't know too many people who don't have him in a march. And that basically sums up the free-to-play side. If you're a big spender and a whale, and you like to spend money on the game, simply, Richard, Richard should only be going to, regardless, 5, 5, if you truly feel like using the heads, 5, 5, 5, just expertise him. 5551 five, five, is great, but you don't need to go there. Triple five one ignores expertise if you are a whale. And of course, if you're a whale, your first goal is to max YSG. He is amazing. And other than that, the only other piece of advice I have is everyone, repeat, everyone should be going to VIP 14. If you're not VIP 14, if you're not participating in events, you will not get many gold heads to max out commanders. I think for everyone who's been here, please subscribe, like, comment, just tell me whatever you thought about it. I'm trying to do a setup.